Hello and uh, thank you very much for tuning in to my channel again. This is the third part of our journey from the Midlands to London. I'm calling the series London Bound and in this part we will be going from Stoke Bruin with a brief look at some historic photographs in the National Waterways Museum and finishing the journey at Milton Keynes. So please sit back, relax and enjoy the film. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. Thank you. And now for a brief look round the National Waterways Museum.
The boat that we had shared the lock with was going to moor up for the day and in hindsight I wish we'd done the same but we carried on and did the six further locks at Stoke Bruin. There is a pump house at the bottom of the Stoke Bruin flight of locks. This, via an underground pipework, sends about four lockfuls of water to the top of the locks every hour. We stop for water ourselves at the bottom of the flight of locks. We got through just before four o'clock and at promptly at four o'clock a gentleman appeared and put a padlock round the bottom pair of gates. This was to save water as that summer the canals were finding it hard to maintain their normal water levels. So we set off again. Here you can see some more water coming in to the canal. Beautiful countryside here. Stunning views. Absolutely gorgeous. Ducks having a rest in a bit of shade from the sun and as we go through this bridge you can see how the tow ropes from the horses have worn away at the steel as they pick up grit and wetness as they touch the ground. So we're going to moor for the day now interesting sign that it does still make me laugh a bit caution elderly ducks crossing and there's a bit of a marina just the other side of the canal there I was thinking of getting diesel at this boat yard but they were quite busy with their dry dock and they weren't open for fuel at that time.
We are now approaching Cosgrove Lock. Just before Cosgrove Lock, on the right hand side here, is the Buckingham Arm, which is currently under restoration. Having gone through Cosgrove Lock, although it was quite early in the afternoon, we decided to stop and moor for the day. One thing that was quite handy was just walking back to Cosgrove Lock, there was a campsite and they had a shop which had uh, a lot of tin provisions, very handy. Also I wanted to have a look at the iron trunk which is the bridge going over the ooze. This bridge was built in 1811. It replaced a brick structure that collapsed in 1808 and the bridge structure in turn replaced nine locks that enabled the ooze to be crossed on the level, a system abandoned because of the danger of floods. A bit like the Ponticilti aqueduct and some other iron trunks that are on the Stratford Canal, it's a little bit scary when you go across it as there's nothing to stop you falling off on one side. There's a towpath on one side but nothing on the other. The next day we set off. Lovely boats here on the right hand side. Looked as though people were living on them. This first one here looks as though it could do with a bit of a wash though. Quite interesting. This looks like a Dutch boat. So we're going to go across the iron trunk aqueduct. As you can see the towpaths on the left hand side here, but on the right hand side there's no railings at all. And I shall pan the camera round to the right hand side to have a look at the view and the drop below. I'm afraid I'm rather scared of heights, so I, I really do not like going across these uh, iron bridges or aqueducts, sorry. Leaving the iron trunk aqueduct behind us, we are heading towards Milton Keynes, which is where we will stop next as there's two supermarkets very close to the canal. Passing underneath the railway line bridges, we are going to moor up on the left hand side. The pigeons have made quite a home for themselves uh, underneath the railway. So we're going to moor up now, on the left, there's a footbridge ahead and crossing over the footbridge and going to the right, one can uh, reach two supermarkets within a short distance, about five minutes walk away. Interesting uh, statue there, and I like the fender on the bows of the boat. Bit like a mermaid. Actually, I think it is a mermaid. So um, I'm going to be saying um, cheerio. Um, 
and I hope to see you again in part four. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Feel free to comment and like. Thank you very much.